If you're migrating to Australia, you probably should know these 10 facts. The capital of Australia is Canberra, not Sydney or Melbourne, as many people think. Australia has six states and two mainland territories. The six states are New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, Tasmania, Queensland and Western Australia. The two mainland territories are Australian Capital Territory and Northern Territory. One of the most important Australian traditions include the welcome to country practice and the acknowledgement of country protocol. A welcome to country is a cultural practice performed by Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander peoples. This is mainly to welcome visitors to their lands and is usually performed before an event. A welcome to country performance could be a song, a dance, a speech. The other important tradition is called an acknowledgement of country. This is a protocol usually performed before a meeting or an event. And if you're working here in Australia and you attend an important meeting or a work event, you'll see that the host or the chair of that event or meeting will usually deliver an acknowledgement of country. And these practices and protocols are very important because they show respect to the traditional custodians of this land and also to the First Nations peoples attending that event. The most important dates in Australia are Anzac Day and Australia Day. Anzac Day is on the 25th of April. This day is a public holiday and commemorates and honors those Australians and New Zealand soldiers who served and died in the World War I. The second most important day is Australia Day, which is celebrated on the 26th of January each year. And this is one of the biggest national public holidays here in Australia. This day celebrates the anniversary of the arrival of the first British fleet in 1788. And as I said in another video, this day is a bit controversial, especially amongst young people who no longer really celebrate it. The Australian national colours are green and gold, and you'll see these colours reflected on the uniforms of national sports teams. The Australian national anthem is called Advanced Australia Fair. So if you're planning to become a citizen, I highly recommend trying to learn the lyrics. I remember one week before my citizenship ceremony, I tried learning the lyrics, but I failed very, very badly. And yeah, it was a bit embarrassing um, when they were singing and I... But they still give you like a little pamphlet for you to sing along, but yeah. <laughs> Australia is founded on democratic beliefs and that means that Australia is a parliamentary democracy, meaning that it is the Australian people who have the power to vote who's going to represent them. Australia is governed by the rule of law. This means no one is above the law, regardless of your status. Another democratic belief is that all Australians have the right to live peacefully and with no violence. And all people in Australia must be treated with respect, dignity and equality, regardless of their background or gender. So if you're working here in Australia, you probably noticed that there are very strict rules and regulations in terms of equal employment opportunities. That means that everyone has a right to access employment based on merit. There are very strong anti-discrimination, anti-bullying laws, and Australian employers are also pretty strict in terms of OHNS, that is Occupational Health and Safety, as well as employee assistance programs to make sure that all employees have access to a safe working environment, both physically and psychologically. I know many of you have been asking me what's the main religion here in Australia, but Australia as a nation or the Australian government is secular. This means that they don't have a national religion. They function or operate separate to any religion or churches. Only people who are Australian citizens aged 18 years or over are allowed to vote in federal, state and territory elections or referendums. And voting is compulsory and by secret ballot. And if you don't vote in an election, you usually have to pay a fine unless you have a good reason for not doing so. Australia is a constitutional monarchy, meaning that the head of state is the queen, now the king. And Australia doesn't have a president, but they have a prime minister who is considered the leader of the Australian government. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe to keep supporting the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.